What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're checking out Pangeon. Now, this game is a roguelike, a first person kind of voxel roguelike, I guess. Uh, the things that it would be similar to, probably Barony, actually, is the one that this jumps out at me as being kind of similar to. So today we're going to dive on in, we're going to do our first impressions, we're going to check the game on out, and see if it's something that you wanted to add to your wish list, or otherwise, you know, fanboy out about. Let's start a new game, so we can pick our class. We've got a warrior, we've got an archer, we've got a wizard, we've got a thief. I'm going to go with the thief, the thief looks too cool. Alright, we're going to be the thief, we'll name him, uh, I don't know, we should probably name him like... What should we name? What, what should we name him? I don't know. We're gonna name him Robber Roy. There we go. All right, so we got five points we can play around with. We got dexterity over here. It affects our damage with bows. We've got our melee damage. We've got our mana. We've got our health, and we've got our luck. Okay, let's go with a little bit of luck. We're gonna be a lucky rogue. We'll throw that in there. Like, oh, I didn't want to do that. We'll go like that right there. That looks good to me. Uh, we'll play it on normal difficulty, and then we'll dive on in. Ooh, I like the, I like the kind of screen vignette thing they got going on. That's pretty cool. Oh my goodness gracious! All right, so we've got lock picks over here, and we've got spears. I can't have the spears. Ooh, I don't know what that said that it did. It said that it did something though. All right, I don't have a weapon. Do I have a weapon? Let me look at my inventory real fast. I have a pike. All right, equip the pike, and then we've got healing potions right there. All right, so there's my pike. Apparently, I can stab, I can attack, we can do a block right there. Alright. Sounds good. Can I break these? Oh, I can. Nice. Okay, so we'll break those right there. Ooh, healing potion. Thank you. Can I break all this other stuff? Can anything else be broken? No. It looked like I could try for a minute right there. We can open this door. Alright, let's take a look around this dungeon here. Let's see what this dungeon's got on offer. What is this? Like a little shrine thing? I gotta lower my mouse sensitivity. Hold on. Oh, you can't lower the mouse sensitivity. Okay. Well, then I can do it on my mouse then. Cool. My mouse has an adjustable DPI. There we go. Much better. Bad guys, you in? Oh, I don't like that sound. Oh, I don't like that. What is happening? Why is there blue gas? Oh, no. Uh, the door is locked. Oh, no, dude. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, let, let me get that right there. How do I use lockpicks? I don't know how to use lockpicks. Oh my goodness gracious. I don't know how to use the lockpicks. Well, I kind of feel like maybe we should figure out how to use the lockpicks, possibly. I think that learning how to use the lockpicks might be a really, really good idea. Let's see here. We can get our starting equipment from right there. We got a spear again. All right, so we'll take that over there. And how do I use these lockpicks right here? They're in the other category. I clearly can't quick key them. They don't go in my secondary slot. How do I use the lockpicks? Curious. Ooh. We got a mana potion and a health potion. I'll take it. I will take it. We can't take the book and we can't take the pots or anything over here. Can we break those? No. What are you? What are you? Go away. I will smack you until you die. I don't know what you are, but unfortunately, you're not me, and I'm going to treat everything in here as hostile until, like, otherwise noted. Um, little picture up there. Little, little picture rocking. Little bit of the old tapestry, making the place look a little bit more presentable. Uh, we've got some pork right there. Definitely take that. I don't see anything else on the tables. Do we have, like, a map or anything? I don't think we do. Anything inside of there? I do think the attack animations could use a little tiny bit of work. Uh, they seem a little bit like stiff and it's hard to read the range on them. Um, this game is using like 3D and so like I, I suppose the weapon should sort of like imply how far out it's going to strike and instead I don't know if it's like a grid based system. Like it's easy enough to pick up on. Like I said like there's nothing wrong with it per se but I do think that it could sort of what the hell is that? An evil pumpkin? Alright, well I have successfully murdered the evil pumpkin. Health potion, please. Something bad's gonna happen when I take this, dude. This is an Indiana Jones room. Yup, I knew it. Oh my god, there's like magical Skeletors or something. 
Oh, I've run out of road. Give me some health. Okay, skeletal wizards. All right, all right, you've made your point. You're jerks. I used up all of my heals. I got nothing left. Is there anything at least inside their little rooms? Oh, there's a health restorative right there. I'll probably keep that in mind. Maybe, like, save that for later. Bunch of rubble, bunch of rubble. Oh, God. I leveled up. I'm the best. Uh, let's see here. Maybe... A little more health would be nice. Little more luck. We are, after all, a rogue. Oh, cool. So that's maybe the end of the level right there. I would like to have like a little mini map or something so that I could see where I've been and where I have not been. I can restore something from my own. Oh, there's gobos in here. Let's kill him. Oh, these ones are tougher. Oh, I ran out of space. Yikes. Okay. A little beat up. A little beat up. That's okay. We got 18 gold. Sounds good. Oh, there's 15 gold right there, too. All right. Um, I can't see super good because of all the thingies on my screen. Let's see here. A strength potion. Did that, like, permanently increase my strength? I think it did. Yeah, it looks like it just, like, permanently, like, made my strength better. Yeah, maybe eat the meat. It's like a health potion, but better. I'm going to go back this way. We're going to use that healing font over here. There we go. Um, I don't have a map, so like... I don't even know if it's smart for us to try to go back across this. Looks like we can jump to the stairs right there, so that works. But I've got a feeling there's like rooms back here that I haven't explored yet. Yeah, there's definitely stuff that I have not done yet. And honestly, with how hard this has been so far and how much damage we've been taking... I think any type of object that we can find to make things a little bit easier on ourselves is a good plan. I go up the stairs. Ow. Stop it. Stop it. Mana potion, a little bit of gold, a key. What do you figure the key goes to? You can put on some boots. That'll give us four armor, which I assume is just like damage reduction, so that'll be good. We got a few more healing potions, too. I'm going to eat that guy right there. Can I break that? No, I can't break that. Okay. Good to know. All right. Well, what does the key go to? Like, we found a key, so obviously it goes to something. Let's go look around. Nope, that's the booby trap room. I don't like that. I don't like... Oh. Hey. Hey. How you doing there, little buddies? Just kind of hanging out and doing what... Oh, my God. They're bursting out of the walls. They're in the walls. Game over, man. Game over, man. Get away from me. Go away. Get away from me. I don't like you. Go away. I don't think there's anything in here that really seems to denote itself as being... Dude, I don't know how to use the lock picks. How do I use the lock picks? Like, this room would not be scary at all if I knew how to use the lockpicks, but I don't know how to use the lockpicks. Maybe the key goes to the door? I don't know how to use the lockpicks, dude. Like, the game doesn't really tell you how to use the lockpicks. Can I use it on the door? Eh! Okay, well, that was not the way. Um, let's just make a note to not come in this room anymore, because I don't know how to use the lockpicks. It won't let me hotkey them. It won't let me do anything with them. And so, unfortunately, I don't really know how we use them. Uh, we'll start a new game with a different character this time around. We'll try the warrior this time. Uh, we'll name this dude like Smack a Smell. There we go. We're going. We're going all strength, baby. No plan. We're going all in. All right. So we're back in on the warrior. What I'd like to ideally see from like the lock picks and stuff like that is realistically when you mouse over like a supplementary item, like a lock pick or whatever, uh, on this little menu right here. So for the small HP potion, it should be like right click or drag to hotkey to use. 
underneath where it says health 15, basically. Like, it's pretty obvious how we use those. But... There's my bow right there, so apparently I can use my bow. Oh, the sword feels a lot better than the spear does. I like the sword a lot better. Okay, the sword feels... The sword gives you a much better feeling of how far out you can strike. I like it. I got turned around. There we go. We got him. He's down. Let's check these crates for anything that might be good. And we got a strength potion, HP potion right there. Like that. Definitely stuff that I'll take along with me. Doesn't look like there's anything lootable up here. That's just going to loop. Oh, I think it's the same dungeon, dude. I don't think the game randomly generates. I think you just have, like, the same layout. All right. Well, this time we'll probably skip the trap room and just not go into it since I don't know how to deal with it just yet. Like, I'm sure at some point I'll figure it out, but for now... Parrying seems to be okay, but I kind of feel like backpedaling and swinging is the way to get it done. Uh, I feel like that's the way to victory here. A couple more healing potions. All right, we'll grab those. Oh, it's one of the pumpkin things. All right, let me heal up real fast. We've got some pork inside of a chest, so that's pretty cool. I do enjoy pork. I find it to be very satisfying. I make a pork shoulder that is quite literally to die for. I wasn't super sure how I was going to clear that gap without getting hit, but I was willing to take a chance on it. All right, so strength potion. You are now inside of me. And you are also now inside of me. Uh, I know better. This time we're not touching that. I don't think it's worth it for a strength potion. Okay, let him come down to the corner. There we go. Finish him up. Hey, you see, I got a free one right there anyways. Who cares? See, we got a free one right there anyways. Who cares? All right. Let's go to the next level. Uh, maybe I'll eat some pork real fast. Yeah, it seems like a plan. Oh, what's up, dudes? So we got a trader over here. All right. Uh, I don't really want to sell anything just yet. Be afraid, mortal. This dungeon is full of evil, and it's a bad idea to be here. These dungeons were taken over by the Reviver. Each mortal who met with him never made it out alive, and right now you're in the only safe room in the dungeon. Leaving means the risk of death. Kill the Reviver, and I will pay you well. This sword might be useful to you. Okay. I will take whatever that sword is. It's a saber. Apparently it does 3 to 11 damage as compared to what we have right there, so I'm going to equip it. Oh, it one-shots goblins. I'm with it. I'm about that life. Okay. Uh, we got a healing room inside of there. Definitely use that a little bit later. Oh, it's a spooky ghost. Go away, spooky ghost. When the marker is in the middle field, press left. Oh. Oh. Okay, makes sense. So maybe that other door just wasn't unlockable with picks. Because right there, it gave us like a little prompt or whatever. So like... Maybe that's the key we need. Oh, nice. Okay. 35 gold right there. I'll take it. I will take it. Oh. Okay. All right. I guess we live down here now. Something, Something's going to bust out of these stone piles, huh? I knew it. I knew it. Oh, my God. Which one's next? I know you're about to pop out. Give me a health potion. Give me a health potion. All right. They are all now officially dead, and we have taken their XPs. Oh, the door opened. Nice. Uh, some kind of spooky portal over here. Oh, my goodness. Uh... All right, all right, all right. Um, I believe there's a pretty good chance right there that I just got whooped. Oh. 
All right. Good to know. Maybe I got to dodge him and hit him a little bit. There we go. There we go. Give me the healing potion. Let me get that real fast. Spooky ghost. Don't have time for you. Go away, spooky ghost. A little bat down in here. I'll take care of him. Smack. There we go. The bat's done. Sometimes you just got to give him a good love tap. Oh, I missed the last one. Damn it. All right. Well, the key was right down. Oh, the key was not down there this time. Well, that room tried to murder me last time. I don't know if I want to go in that room. Uh, that room seems unpleasant for company. I don't I don't think that room is ready to receive guests and or visitors yet. So I got to beat the reviver, huh? Maybe I'll try to do it with arrows this time. Oh, dude, I accidentally used a potion. Now I feel bad about myself. All right, so we got our heals. We're ready to rock. This room's going to lock me in. We're going to go fight the reviver, and everything's going to be okay. Well, that's not good. Oh, nice. We got a crit. Sweet. All right, so we get to get out of here now. All right, let's try with the reviver this time. We're going to go with the uh, the arrows and just kind of... This is a really small room, though. This kind of concerns me. Oh, I think I might be out of arrows. What's he doing? What's he doing? I don't feel like my arrows are really doing a whole lot right now. Oh, dude, he hits so hard. Good lord, man. Okay, well, we could try a different character. Like, I feel like we needed a little bit more... Like, we don't hit very hard, and that's, the, yeah, the wizard, dude. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, let's go. We'll be Staxville Bagginses. Uh, we got lots of mana over here. We can do that. Maybe give ourselves some extra health. Maybe some of that right there. All right, let's try this guy out and see how he goes. So far, I definitely think, like, there's some things that need to be, like, balanced a little bit. Like, I don't think the players should be getting three-shotted by the boss in rapid succession like that. Uh, maybe that's what's intended or whatever. We've got a mace, and we've got a green staff. Okay, so the green staff does a little bit of this, a little bit of that. We probably don't want to use it for breaking crates. That's probably a waste of our magic. So let's go over, and we'll have a mace in our second slot, even though we're not very good at smacking stuff. All right, so we got a small mana potion. We got some gold. I'm going to put the boots on for the extra armor, which sounds really, really nice. Nope. I know better. I don't know how to beat that room, and that room has been the death of me far too many times. I just I don't know what to do with it. Uh, we know that, that apparently that door cannot be lockpicked, but like I had a key last time, and it wouldn't let me use the key to open the door either. And so it just sort of I'm sort of concerned about what I'm supposed to do with that room. There we go. First goblin. Go ahead and bust our way through here. See what we can find. Ooh, a dagger. Nice. I'll take it. Anything that I can sell to the vendor as we get further on into the game. And that was the door. Where was the door? That So that's where we started from. This leftmost door, I think, went to the booby trap room that I still haven't figured out. I don't know if I have to activate one of the sconces or, like, what I have to do in order to get through there, but I haven't figured it out yet, and so, frankly, eh. All right, he's dead. Good.
Another one bites the dust. A little bit of money out of his pockets right there. Sometimes you got to run your enemy's pockets. It is what it is. By the honorable rights of combat, anybody that you knock out in combat, you're allowed to steal from his wallet. All right? It's just the way that it works. It's just the way that it works. I feel like these should be loot. Oh. Didn't really want to take damage right there, but such is life. We got pork and one gold. Okay. Well, there's a healing spot near the end of this anyways, so we can probably get lined up with that. I needed to go this way, I think. Ow, ow, ow. I tried. I got greedy, okay? I got greedy and I had to do what I had to do. I'm going to restore my health right there. I am going to take that, even though I feel like I'm going to regret it. Did they all die on the spikes? I don't think they did. Just keep smacking. Just keep smacking. Alright, so we got another dagger right there. I'll probably try to sell that to the... Uh... Oh, it was just like bone knights this time. Last time there was like mages and stuff in there. Okay, well drink the potion. It's probably a good idea. Uh, wasn't there? I think there was a mana restorative at some point in this dungeon too. I really thought we had the boss last time. I'm kind of disappointed that we lost. I really felt like we had him. Yeah, there's the mage right there. Just going to hang out around the corner and bonk him as necessary. Just bonk, 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 bonk. Hey, free mana. I'm going to try and save my mana for, like, bigger, badder enemies. There we go. Another couple goblins down. There's an arrow right there. Strength potion. Some pants. Dude. That's what's up. I'm down with pants. Let's do it. Apparently, my inventory is full. It's three to five. Uh, yeah, do the... Oh, the axe is two-handed, maybe? Is that what it is? Oh, yeah, the axe is two-handed. Okay. So we can't use the axe. We're going to have to hold on to the mace. I want to keep this stuff, and I want to sell it to the vendor when we get out of here. So I got some pork, and I got some gold. Sounds good. I also need to level up. We got a couple points to play around with. I'm going to dump it into mana. That seems like the place where we should invest heavily with our stonks. Nice. We're going to beat this boss, man. We're going to beat this boss. This boss is about to get taken care of. Alright, so you and I need to trade first. How do I sell? I would love to get like a chess piece or something. Oh, okay. You just got to drag it, like, upwards. All right. Now I have 82 gold. I think this icon should be a little bit larger. It should be lined up with that frame right there. And it should be, the font should be, like, several font points larger. That way you can see it a little bit better. In fact, I think this entire window could probably be made slightly larger. That way you could see things a little better. I'm going to buy the chest piece. I'm going to buy the helmet. Does he have anything else? He's got lock picks. He's got arrows. He's got pork, mana potions. Yeah, let me get him. Alright, so now we're looking pretty good. I think we are about as prepared as we're going to be for this boss. Oh, that's right. I had to talk to this guy. He's like, here's a sword. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Is the sword one-handed by some miracle? Oh, it is. Nice. Okay, so we basically got the same thing that we had before. All right. Um, I do think the game could do with, like, some random generation as well. Just being a little bit less predictable. I do like how the items are randomized, and you never know what you're going to get off every single drop. Yeah, close enough. What was in there? A dagger and 32 gold? Alright. I can live with that experience. Oh, the key was in there that time. All right, let's do the thing. Drop me down into the thing, and we'll go kill the reviver. Let's 
probably a good idea to get some mana potions and stuff rocking too for if I run out of healing. Alright, so we gotta do this room real fast. Luckily this room isn't that bad, so I think we'll be okay. Alright, and you're the last one, you weird little potato head looking bastard. Is he dead? I think he's dead. Uh, we'll eat some pork real fast before we go down in here. Our armor values are much better than they were last time though, so I think we might be okay here. I just gotta stay away from his ranged attack. Hey, we got him. Yay, the reviver's dead. Apparently we just needed more tangible... Oh, I leveled up. I didn't even need to use that. Apparently we just needed more tangible results from our weapon. Oh, there's a mana pool right there too. I didn't even see that the last time we played through. Very nice. All right, well, cool, man. Thank you for your help. Here is your reward. Aha, talk with Arun. He's a magician standing right there. He will teleport you to the undergrounds. All right. I gotta, like, sell off some of the stuff that I'm picking up, though. You can have the mace. You can have the dagger. You can have the arrow. I don't think I'm going to use any of that. I will buy another couple healing potions while I'm here. Might as well. I've heard about your great doings, mortal. You're a powerful ally indeed. Unfortunately, our world is plunging into chaos and our enemy is taking over hideouts still. The mighty Proteus has taken over the undergrounds. It is our duty to fight him off. Go, mortal. There is no time to lose. I will create a portal for you. Alright, cool, man. Definitely don't want to fall into the spike pit. Oh, hey, what's up, boys? How you doing? How would you like to be magicked in the face? How about that? Do these weeds hurt me? No, they don't. Okay. Good to know. I was just testing things. Hello, ghosty boy. How you doing? Oh, is he like immune to magic or something? Oh, he is. Okay. Could see that as being problematic. Oh, there's another one. Yuck. Get away from me, dude. Get away from me. Go away. Go away. I don't like you. You're scary. Stop it. Well, this game is called Pangeon. I hope you guys liked it. Um, it's tough. Like, with a game like this, so there's things that could be definitely, like, polished up and made to be better. Um, I think that, like, it's competing. So there's several other games that have basically done this idea of dungeon diving already. You know what I mean? With, like, kind of a pixel art, voxely looking world. And this game is not just, like, existing in a vacuum. It's got to compete with those other games as well. And so the ones that I'm thinking of specifically are, like, Delve or, like, Barony, both of which are very, very good, very well-designed games. And that's not to say that this one isn't well-designed, okay? So don't take it that way. Uh, the game plays perfectly functionally and fine. I think there could be a little bit more weight to the melee. I think there could be a little bit more weight to the player character being struck by things as well. Um... But aside from that, like, this game kind of lacks. It doesn't have, like, random generation, for example. Uh, the first level is always, like, the first level. And I suppose some people will like that, some people will not. Uh, but with Barony, every single time you play, you get a completely different dungeon that's constructed of many different parts. With Delve, it's kind of the same way. Uh, the game doesn't have any persistence from what I've seen so far. You kind of just pick a character and go for it. Oh, there's an AoE on it. Figures. Okay, well, then I'll just run straight through. Uh, but aside from that, though, like, everything about the game plays functionally. And so if you're looking for a dungeon diving game, this might be one to add to your list. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. We're about out of time for the day. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day, so you don't have to. Today we're checking out Pangeon, a dungeon diving... Actually, I think, like, they call it a roguelike. But honestly, I feel like the game is not really a roguelike. I feel like it has much more in common with stuff like Hexen or something like that. I, I feel like it's very much kind of an action RPG that it's got going on right now. Uh, with the lack of random generation and whatnot. Uh, I definitely think that it, it feels much more just kind of like a first-person shooter RPG almost. Uh, but anyways, thank you for being here. I appreciate you all stopping by. I'll see you all next time. Leave a like on the video. Check out all the links that are down below if you wanted to support the game's creator and the game itself if you wanted to play it for yourself. Uh, I do think the art is nice, and I do like the presentation of the game. You know, there's a lot of things here that I do like. But like I said, the game has to compete with other games that have already kind of done this idea and also done it kind of cleaner and more polished, I suppose. 
And so, like, video games, they don't exist in a vacuum for any given genre. You know, there's going to be 10 or 15 games barking for your approval and trying to stand out among the crowd. So anyways, check out Pangean. I'll see y'all later. Take care, everybody, and hi-do.